All right, it looks like we are once again live. Welcome everybody to another episode of Yankees America Guns and Freedom Podcast and Hat Giveaway. Because I decided tonight we'll give away a couple hats. <clears throat> Hopefully encourage some super chats because we are uh, going to have some shortfalls in pets and vets again. We kind of temporarily fixed them. But I, I, I'm going to give away a hat at the halfway point and then again a hat at the end. So if you're anyone does a super chat tonight, uh, you know how it always goes. Any $5 chat gets you an entry, and we'll draw winners at the halfway point, and then that'll be from the people who donate the first half, and the next half, people who donate will be in drawing at the end. And you'll get to choose any hat you want, including one of the hats you can choose is the new one I just made today. Uh, let me see if I can share this. Just did this design to last night because uh, someone requested it last night. I think it was Scorch, was it? Uh, so I went ahead and did it. Uh, this one is the hat. It says, if you want to shoot 800 rounds per second, Judge Kentanji Brown Jackson says, buy a bump stock. Because, you know, she said they shoot 800 rounds per second. Uh, so I did a little caricature over there. I think it's very flattering. And I uh, got the shirt. We oh, got shirts, hats, mugs, etc. If anybody wants one of them, it's not often you get a liberal judge uh, endorsing bump stocks. <clears throat> but uh, let's see here. Let's start off. I got to get started with the spiel. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, if you've never been here before, this is just a conversation between myself and my viewers. Uh, if you uh, want to talk to me. That's why I'm here, what I'm here for. But if you don't, that's uh, fine. You can talk amongst yourselves over there in the live chat. It's a place you can come every day for an hour and have conversations with like-minded individuals about common interests. But like I said, if you do want to talk to me, that's why I'm here. I'm here so you can ask me questions, so you can suggest topics, or you can come on in and let me know I've been wrong about something. If you disagree with something I've said, like maybe about leaders or about civil disobedience or about anything like that, and you want to tell me you feel different, feel free to come in the chat. All you need is a microphone. Uh, everybody's phone has a microphone on it, so everybody can pretty much come in. So uh, just let me know if you want to. If you want to ask me questions, put them over there in the live chat. Make sure you put at the Yankee Marshall in front of them so that I can have a chance at seeing them. I'll try to get to all of them. Uh, doesn't mean I will get to all of them. Uh, please don't repeat questions because it does take me several minutes to get to them usually. Sometimes I don't even get caught up ever. Uh, and sometimes I don't get caught up till the end. So be patient. Don't repeat questions. <clears throat> uh, 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 if I miss your question, I'm sorry, but I, it happens. Uh, I didn't do it on purpose. If you've got a question, you don't want to take a chance of me missing, or you don't want to wait several minutes for me to get to it. Maybe you don't want to hang out in here that long, but you want an answer to your question, or you just want to donate to the pets and vets funds. You can do a super for chats get priority as far as being answered. Doesn't matter if they're two dollars or twenty dollars. Uh, the only time the amount matters is if they they need to be four ninety nine or more to get entries into the friend drawing, the monthly friend drawing, or <clears throat> to get into the hat drawing tonight. So uh, that's the spiel for uh, pets and vets. Oh, and you can also support pets and vets by going over and becoming a patron. Uh, I don't know if we got any new patrons today. I don't think we lost any. So that was good, I think, unless I've lost one in the last few minutes. No, and actually Glock then upgraded his membership to friend. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Uh, where are we at? That wasn't good. Okay, yeah, that's how you can donate to Pets and Vets. Best way. That's the best way to over become a patron. Uh, the other program we run is TYM Triple P. <clears throat> it is... Uh, uh, going on right now, the judges have the names. We'll be announcing the new set of winners on the 15th. Uh, I think the one for the last winners is just getting ready to ship out on Tuesday. <clears throat> Took us a little while to get all the info this time. <clears throat> but uh, that's happening, by the way. Uh, uh, if you know someone needs to register for <clears throat> – losing my voice – if you're someone who needs to register for TYM Triple P, go on over to TYMPPistolProject.com, sign up. Uh, if you're someone who wants to support TYM Triple P, keep it going because it's the only program of its kind, uh, you can go over and become a Subscribestar member on Subscribestar.com. We'll be doing the drawing for the FN57 on the 15th, uh, and we'll be doing another drawing eventually. Just got to figure out what we're doing. 
uh, <clears throat> uh, also, if you want to support the Pets and Vets program, you can go buy merchandise like the new design I just showed you with the bump stock promotion. Uh, I don't know if anybody will buy that one, but I made it because someone asked for it. <clears throat> Actually, although I think we did sell a sticker already. I think someone bought a sticker before I even advertised it because I guess they just saw it on the website. Speaking of which, uh, I will uh, go over here now and read if anybody's bought any uh, items today. Um, I think that might be the only one, actually, was the guy who bought the sticker. Uh, yeah, Thomas Rogato, you know, Domo Warigato, Thomas Rogato. Uh, he got a couple magnets. That's what it was. He got magnets, not stickers. And one of them is to buy a bump stock <clears throat> sticker. So we did sell one of them. Hey, it puts it up there in the top 10, probably selling magnets. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. We got a super chat coming in. Uh, Practical Bacon used his WAP chat. Says, for a new lid for my large melon. I don't think, I guess uh, uh, a member chat would work count. I'm not sure if it would count or not. It won't show up on the list at the end of this thing. I'll have to do the list from here. Uh, <clears throat> also, we got John Heasley. Uh, he said, sent you an email of my granddaughter's third birthday. Hold on. My Pepsi, my Dr. Peppers aren't cold, so um, so it contains the birthday. Mm. Hmm. Let me see if I can just find it from. Uh, aha, there it goes. He didn't put birthday in the picture of his granddaughter, which she's not carrying a gun, so I don't know why, how this how this relates to our gun chat. But <clears throat> looks like she got some cupcakes and some cakes. Looks like she likes Milo and is it Milo and Stitch? Is that what it's called? I've never seen the movie, but it looks like she likes them. I like Disney, but I've never seen Milo and Stitch. I haven't seen a lot of the newer movies like The Frog Prince, Milo and Stitch. <clears throat> Everything came out like in that time period. I never have seen them. Most anything after like Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, etc. I, I, I haven't seen. Uh, Glock then uh, did a super chat here, got an entry into the hat drawn. Says, we need license plate frames in the swag. I'd love to have people in the car behind me see one of these treasures. Well, I don't think you can put much on the license plates. They're very limited in what you can put on them. You definitely couldn't put any of our designs, like the uh, caricature. uh, caricatures or anything. I can drop that all over the place. <clears throat> um, so it would be very limited, I think. Very, very limited. Um, what's that? Payment design declined for Max Plus streaming. I don't. I think they're on my old card. They're trying to get me to sign back up with the new one, but I don't know. I haven't done it. Peter D says, "I'm very pleased you finally got a Mini 14." What you mean that one I've had for years? Uh, have you spent any quality time with it yet? I still want to have my Mini 14's babies. Uh, <clears throat> of course I have. I've had it for years. So I, I took it out and fired, well, 20 rounds through it, not a whole lot. But uh, 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 over the years, I've had it. Uh, Teddy, too good. it's my day off and I need a new work hat. Well, good luck with that. Uh, Dale Rickett, he said nothing to report. <clears throat> but if you do have something to report, make sure you report it. I need to know what's going on. Uh, let's see here. Did I finish the spiel for TYM Triple P? I, I even read the names of the people who, well, there's only one person that bought merchandise today. Bought a couple stickers. <clears throat> magnets. I think he got magnets, actually. 
Domo Wagigato Thomas Rogato. Uh, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get over here and see if there's any chats coming in. Good evening, ye old fart. Good evening, Yankee. Which would you prefer, hatchback or fox body Mustang? Ooh. Well, I, if you're talking like the Mustang 2 hatchbacks, uh, then definitely the fox body. <clears throat> but, uh, and you know, the fox bodies have grown on me over the years. I remember when they first came out, I thought they were great because they were the Mustang. And uh, the official pace car, remember that one, the silver one with the orange and stuff, horses down the side? Uh, loved that car. Someone up towards Charleston had one. Every time we drove up there, I saw that car on the highway. Seemed like every time I went up there, I saw it. So it might have been more than one. But, uh, oh, loved that car. So the Fox bodies have always had a place in my heart. So I wouldn't mind a Fox body. <clears throat> For people who don't know, uh, Fox Body is a style of Mustang. It was before they got all rounded. Uh, DM Foul says, just because if and I win, give the hat to Chunky D77. Why are you giving him your hat? Huh? Uh, DM Faust also gifted someone a membership. Can I see who he gifted it to? Tyson Unarua. Your Tynus, Tyson Uranus or something. I don't know how to say his last name. It's like it's almost like the stuff that uh, the Uru that Thor's hammer is made out of. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Dale Rickety says. I do have something to report. Called my FFL last night and he is out of business due to the climate here in Washington State. Yeah, not surprising. Uh, he went out a little early. I mean, he could have held on, I guess, if it was just, uh, you know, afraid of the new ruling for the requirements for, for uh, recording and stuff. I would have hung on for another year and then went out of business when they, if it didn't get defeated. But it's a hard time for a lot of gun shops. Especially since most people buy their stuff offline. If, that's why I always tell them, buy local. Or else you might not have the option to buy it at all any, any, pretty soon. So buy local. <clears throat> More important now than ever. I'm losing my voice and I'm trying to not, not lose my voice. But it's going out on me. I can feel it. My throat feels swollen and my voice keeps stuttering. <clears throat> I don't know why I haven't been screaming or anything. <clears throat> oh, I got soda on my keyboard. Ah, uh, but that's sad. It's always sad to see a gun shop go out of business. Ah, uh, good evening, Yankee. Oh, I already read these. Would you read? Like, because it went back up to the fastback Mustang or the hatchback Mustang. <clears throat> Need cold dead hands as a sticker on TYM Triple P. Didn't I do the cold dead hands as a sticker? I thought I did it as a sticker. Uh, hold on. My products. Let's see. Just added cold dead hands as something the other day. Where is it? Um. Oh, I did magnets. I think someone asked for magnets. I didn't. Do, I don't think I did stickers. Um, let's see. How quickly can I do a sticker here? Home and living. Magnets and stickers. Stickers. Start designing. My library. Where's cold dead hands? Where's my cold dead hands design? Uh. Uh. Come on. There it is. Um, hurry up. Get on there. And uh, let me make it fit. Let me make it fit. There we go. <clears throat> uh, is this the sticker? Am I making the sticker? Is that what I'm doing? Yes. Decals. Uh, cold dead hands. Oh, 
Whoops, I did it all caps. I don't know why I did that. Hold on. I don't want it to look like I'm yelling at people. All right, there we go. They raise the price on everything. <clears throat> uh, do, 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 do. Right, I got, uh, uh, once it publishes, I'll transfer it over to the other site too. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Where were we? Do, 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 do. Lilo, what did I say? My, did I say Milo and Stitch? I think, it, yeah, I think it's Lilo and Stitch. Or maybe it is, I don't know. Maybe it is Milo and Stitch. Maybe you're lying to me. I don't never heard the word the name Lilo, I don't think, before. <clears throat> I've heard uh, Milo. How do you get qualified for the silver bullet drawing? You go over and become a patron. Every new patron of $5 or more or a person who upgrades their patron patronage $5 for the month gets an entry for every $5 into the silver bullet drawing. Which, God damn it, I haven't sent his silver bullet out yet. Well, it wouldn't went out yet anyway because they're not open until Tuesday. But I need to get that sent out tomorrow. Um... Uh, why don't you like the Leviathan YouTube group with Demo Ranch, Brandon Herrera, and others? Because it's a uh, fear mongering, money making, lie to people, support big NRA and all that other kind of garbage shit. They don't care about the Second Amendment at all. It's all about money and power. Uh, and they will hurt the Second Amendment actively to make that money and keep that power. So fuck every one of them. Uh, who the fuck is Milo and Stitch? I think it's that little. <sighs> A little long-haired dude in the red kimono or whatever it is, and <clears throat> that alien. Um, super. Wait, someone. Well, Kyoto. If you want, wait. Someone asked a question, and they're telling them to put my. Where did they ask their question? I don't see it. Aha, here. <clears throat> I have a question. I just bought a couple dozen acres in central North Florida. Oof. Why did you do that? I got family there, and that's the most disgusting. Everything is scary and icky and oof. Uh, any recommendations on a 44? There are lots of boar in the area. Hey, lots of shit in that area. Scary. I have never been more scared, I think, than when I was camp been camping in that area before. And I'm like, every time you go get a drink of water, you're afraid, hey, is there going to be something like a dinosaur going to jump out of the water and get me or something? Is there going to be a giant snake somewhere? Uh, is there going to be big spiders? Is there going to be something like, you know, an iguana going to jump out and chew my face off? I just I did not like that part of the country. <clears throat> it was more central central but it's still northern central and central it's just marshland and ah, it's scary <clears throat> but yes best 44 you can get is you know uh, a red hawk is great a 629 is great you know uh i think if i was going to get one for outdoor camping and stuff i'd probably get me uh, 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 uh you know they even make a gp 100 in 44 magnum if you want something smaller but I think I would get the, the Red Hawk in the 44 Magnum. I've got one. I like it a lot. Uh, it's right there. So, you know, you can get it in a short barrel. It's plenty powerful. You can get it in a four inch barrel, whatever size barrel you want. I think it's a lot of different barrels. <clears throat> so I would get something like that. Uh, and if you want single action, like there's nothing wrong with single action guns for camping and hiking. They're actually very nice for camping and hiking. Uh, very easy to use, very light trigger, very super accurate. Get yourself something like Black Hawk, Super Black Hawk, or uh, something like that. <clears throat> or even you can even get Vaqueros in 44 Magnum. Then you don't have to worry about them going off or anything because uh, you got to cock the hammer first. Um, let me make sure we didn't get any more entries over here via Super Chat. Nothing yet. We got to do the first drawing in 11 minutes. <clears throat> uh, where was that? Uh, where was I? Are you going to make a fill flag? I am going to make a fill flag. 
I got to figure out what I'm going to do. I was thinking of making it look tie-dye, but with a circle in the middle with fill in it, something like that. Uh, what do people think of that? I don't know. Sounds good to me. But <clears throat> All right, that is up over there. I can copy this over to the other place now. And then go over there, Yankee Swag Bag Bonanza, publish it, publishing. And then I'm going to go over here, go to magnets and stickers, add product. Uh, oh, and over there, that uh, Justice Brown or Jackson or whatever her name is, uh, the sticker is sideways in the pictures. But that's because the stickers are taller than they are wide. So I used up the most space. It does. It's, someone asked me, do those come sideways like that? I'm like, was that actually a real question or are they fucking with me? Uh, <clears throat> but that is there now. Now let's get it put in over here. Boom. Come on. Cold dead hand decal. Uh, Include in sales channels. And then let's, oops, that's not what I want to do. And then let's put it in the, with the magnets and stickers. There we go. All right. The cold dead hand stickers are available now. <clears throat> so go get them or I'm going to fucking kick you in the tank because people keep asking me for stuff that they don't buy. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Nothing coming in super chat. Let's get back over to the regular chat. Any chance we can start pestering Chiapa for 44 Magnum? They make an all steel frame rhino that could be a good start. That's why they made the all steel rhino was to see how well people took to it. But I don't think sales have been all that great. Uh, I think people have, if you look at the reviews, people bitched about it being too heavy. Everybody I've seen that has it bitches about it being too heavy, not realizing that it was a test case for the 44 Magnum. Uh, so they just slammed it as a heavy 357 Magnum, which made it not sell well. So I, it looks like it's less and less likely they're going to make one. Uh, where am I? I just got a cup. Oh, I, was, I read that. Didn't I? <clears throat> Looking at Super Blackhawk in four. Oh, let's see. I would go with that. Yeah, that's good. That's a good job. That's a good one. Uh, I like a single action for out camping and hiking. <clears throat> um, do, 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 where am I at? Got new Crocs. Ankles keep cracking. Your ankles keep cracking. I mean, you're waiting and you're walking. Your ankles crack. Mine do that too. But you got nothing to do with the Crocs. But. Finally watched the last voyage of the Demeter last night. Not bad for Dracula being stuck on a ship for one and a half hours. Well, I think it was over more than one and a half hours. <clears throat> uh, it was all right. I mean... I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it either. I mean, it was better than no vampire movie, I guess. But it, it was a very monstrous vampire. But I just, these things are always like, the first time you think something's crazy, go get that fucking case during the middle of the day and throw it overboard. Don't these people read? They know what vampires do. Uh, I try to buy local. I just don't like FUDs at the counter so often buy ammo and hate it when it's behind a counter. Well, I'd go to a different gun shop if you're having to deal with FUDs. That foo yesterday was cool. Be nice to have him on again. Oh, you mean the one I posted yesterday, that chat. Uh, buying local is difficult when one FFL charges $75 transfer, one charges 20, but good luck finding when they are open another charges above MSRB fee for used guns. Well, I don't think you're very good at finding gun shops because, uh, and any time, and, and also when there's gun shops out there that do that, that's because they can, because all the other gun shops got ran out of business because everybody buys offline. So you're not helping the, the, point there 
Did he buy some stickers? Let's look. Uh, okay, we sold some stickers. He looked like he bought a bunch of stickers. How many stickers did he buy? Good Lord. Cold Dead Hands. He did get the Cold Dead Hands sticker. He also got the Buy Bump Stock sticker. He's going to put stickers on a lot of stuff. <clears throat> uh, how many stickers did he get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's like selling a shirt. Uh, that's like selling two shirts because I get two dollars per sticker. So that's 22 bucks profit for pets and vets right there. <laughs> Speaking of for pets and vets, did I get any more super chats I need to read? Uh, have you still never shot your silencers? No, I have not. Uh, but I do believe my son has now. Little bastard stole my 22 silencer, put it on his uh, 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 2245. Little bastard. Kids are great at stealing your shit. <clears throat> He's well, not doing any good just sitting in the safe. <laughs> uh, because the Paul needs a hand, if you were getting an Olight Balder S, would you get with red or green or blue laser? I, I like green. It's easier to pick up for old eyes. But of course, if you're in a green environment, though, the red works. And if you're in outdoors, like if you're in like a country, I would definitely go red because it's going to show up more. <clears throat> I mean, if you're shining green against something green, it's going to be harder to pick out. Red go be easier to pick out. So. Um, Mike M used his member chat to say, how do we get in the drawing? Anybody who does a $5 super chat is in the drawing for every five dollars they do. I mean, if they do a ten dollars super chat, they get two entries. If they do two five dollars super chats, they get two entries. I should have made it to where if you do ten, you get three entries. Maybe we'll do that the second half hour. That way, people can get extra entries and not have to plaster me with questions. Ah, uh, where are we at? I have heard that you can't get aftermarket frames for hand guards that have serial numbers engraved in the frame. What? Frames have serial numbers. You, you're not going to get a frame without it. The receiver is the frame, and that's. What is the, I don't get that question at all. I have heard that you can't get aftermarket frames for handguns. I don't, I don't, it didn't make any sense to me that question. I don't know what he's trying to say. Uh, Doc Camp says, Hey, Yankee, thoughts on Springfield Prodigy? Prodigy? Uh, other than being from Springfield Armory, pick me for a hat. Watch both you and Rick Gore like both P's and B's. I mean, that guy's got a lot of beliefs that I don't support, and I'm sure he, I got a lot of beliefs he don't support. Uh, and I think he's a little gullible when it comes to the Putin thing. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, I think we can agree on some things, and I think that's enough sometimes. You don't have to agree with everybody on everything. And if you disagree, if you know each other very well and you're adults, you should be able to disagree quite vehemently. You should even be able to make fun of each other as far as I'm concerned. Uh, where was I? Oh, uh, Nominal Snowman donated also says, thoughts on the 1,000 troop Palestine temporary aid port deployment. Someone was saying Biden said the Navy won't be there to back them up. I don't really have any knowledge of it because I haven't been paying attention to the news. So I don't know the logistics or what they're doing or who's involved or anything. So I, I can't really have much of an opinion on it. Uh, however, I would be very careful about doing anything that isn't heavily guarded when you've got Iran, uh, uh, Iranian backed forces on all sides over there who would love nothing more than to kill every person bringing aid in. Even if it's for their people, they'd still want to kill the people bringing it. That's how ridiculously stupid they are and how little they care about the actual people. It's all about fundamentalism. <clears throat> so I'd be very careful about doing any of that over there. But 
like I said, I don't know what they're doing. I haven't watched the news, oh my God, in two or three weeks. And you know what? I'm happier because of it. I just pay attention. I look up stuff about gun laws and stuff like that. And I stay out of the other politics because I know there ain't nothing most of us can do about it. And it ain't going to change no matter who you elect. So what the fuck? It's all going to be the same things for different reasons. Uh, Teddy Two Gun says, have you seen the show Resident Alien? It's pretty funny. It references the grays and ass play. I have seen every episode of that show. That show is hysterical. Uh, I've even considered started watching it from the beginning again. Uh, it is a, a, a really, really, really good show that I would recommend to anyone. I like what's his name, Alan Two Dicks or Two Dick or whatever his name is. Uh, I, I find him to be very funny, uh, and he's also very talented. I loved him in uh, Firefly. Unfortunately, he died in the movie. Uh, ooh, well, it's time to do the drawing. So everyone hold off on the super chats for a minute. Uh, well, you can keep doing them, but I'm only going to be doing the drawing with the people that are entered right now. Uh, Hooked on Phonics worked for me, he says, do you know of or recommend any in-car center console storage holster systems, or are they pretty much created by each person from scratch? Well, the ones that actually go like in truck consoles and stuff, those are actually ready-made, ready-to-install things. But for cars, you really got to come up with your own thing, I think. Uh, and I, uh, one of the things I have done, I've mounted holsters in different places. You can mount them inside. I try to always mount it to something I can replace. Like uh, when I did it in my center console, I mounted it to the side of the plastic cap, you know, that's part of the center console, not to the floorboard part, to the where I can take it off and replace it with another cap, but you could do your own thing. I always get like those holsters that have the little flat back things on them and screw that on, you know, that can take holster adapters and then put the holster on it and actually have a holster for the gun. That's the way I usually do it. Uh, Jacoby says, YouTube is still shadow effing you. You're live and it says you're not. Smith and yeah, they've been fucking with me for the longest time. Uh, 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 Smith and Wesson EZ 380 or Glock 42. Ooh, either one, I'm not crazy about either one of those guns, but I think either one would be fine if you're wanting a little 380 gun. I think I could find other 380s I'd probably buy instead, but uh, either one of those I would say is fine. Nine millimeter Mike says, Don't let my boss know I'm here, I'm working. Somebody called nine millimeter Mike's boss. I don't know who it is. I don't even know where he works, but somebody found <clears throat> and, and call. All right. I'm going to do the drawing here. Hold on. How many entries do we got? One, two, three, four, five. And I'm counting member chats. Uh, I shouldn't, but I, I'm going to, because I already had their money, but I'm going to count them for this part. Uh, uh, oh, let me count again here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I got to generate a number between one and sixteen. And I'll do it here where y'all can see because y'all can see the chat. So I don't have to hide anybody's information. Uh, random number generator. Between 1 and 16. Let me type it in and get it ready to go here. And then let me present it. Uh, share screen. Vendor. All right. Let's go. Between 1 and 16. 2. So I got to go back up. Count down 2. Uh, it's John Heasley. Practical Bacon was 1. John Heasley was 2. So it's John Heasley is the winner. Uh, he gets a free hat. Oh, I, don't, I hate to give him a free hat because he got that. Oh, that gun before I did. Uh, we also got another order over on the swag bag bonanza. Uh, Jose Rodriguez uh, bought a mouse gun ceramic mug. I need to get me that mug. I like Nikki and I like guns, so I should have that mug. But I don't. I haven't got myself much of anything. I did order myself some large prints. 
<clears throat> on canvas for my Bigfoot room, the, the guest bedroom that I'm doing up for my mom. I'm doing it in Bigfoot theme. I got that Bigfoot birdhouse that someone sent me. I got uh, a Bigfoot uh, uh, lunchbox friends gave me. I've got uh, some other Bigfoot stuff. I got a big Bigfoot burlap sack on the wall. Uh, <clears throat> some Bigfoot signs, but I needed some big artwork in there. So I went and made, you know, my Believeth and my best gun for Bigfoot. And I believe in Bigfoot Second Amendment rights. I made <clears throat> big canvas prints out of them. And I'm going to put those in that room. So that's the only thing I bought myself off my site. Uh, <clears throat> all right. There, that we're done for there. So now we're starting over from scratch. Anyone who donated during the first half hour is not registered for the next drawing. So if you want to be registered for the next hat drawing, uh, you can do a super chat of $4.99 or more. And I say $4.99 because iPhone steals a penny. Uh, I don't want to out, cut out the iPhone people. So uh, you can do that between now and the end of the chat. <coughs> well, I'm choking on that. <coughs> Tickled the wrong pipe going down there. Uh, Anodyne says SNL did a skit <coughs> with Scarlett Johansson as Katie Britt. <coughs> she identified as the craziest bitch in the Target parking lot. Honda doesn't shop at Target. Who doesn't shop at Target? Like E Honda? I don't really shop at Target either. I mean, I can't remember the last time I went to Target. I just don't go to stores very often. If I can't get it at Costco or Washougal Hardware or sometimes Lowe's, then I probably don't want it. That's about the only place I shop. <clears throat> but I did not see that because uh, I did not watch SNL. I don't have a uh, satellite anymore, so I just can't watch like regular broadcast television. I should get a one of them high definition antennas. I wonder if we could get a signal up here. My sister has one so she can watch regular television. She lives down in the city, so it works for her. I don't know if it'd work for me up here. Excuse me. Milo and Otis, Lilo and Stitch. I never heard of that movie either. A West Virginia bill that would have allowed teachers to remove threatening students from their classroom did not pass. You mean know, like remove them personally? Like a hammer to the back of the head or just like ask them to leave for the day? I don't, I don't know what the bill was about. You might have been thinking about Milo and Otis. <clears throat> I think of Otis sometimes because I always think of who's going to be my Otis. Every time I'm in a situation where I'm out and about in public, I look around and I'm like, okay, who's the Otis here? Uh, and if you don't know what that means, in The Walking Dead once, they sacrificed the fat guy, Otis, to get for everybody else to get away. So I always say, that's my Otis. Like, who here, like, if the bear charges us, who in our group is the Otis? Who do we live, leave behind <clears throat> so that the bear can get his fill on them? And, yeah, you know. <clears throat> so you got to always know your Otis. Uh, Plagic did a super sticker. I don't know what. It, oh, it's a rain. It's a it's a gay unicorn. Which I don't know if there's any straight unicorns, but it's a gay unicorn. You can't see it when you see. All I see is the sent the super sticker. <clears throat> uh, let's see where was I at in the questions. <sighs> I find it hard to believe Florida has laws. Well, has laws. Will all the fuckery and Florida man are. What? Oh, you find it hard to believe that Florida has laws with all the. Yeah. Yeah. They don't follow them. They just, but they have them. Uh, oh, I got a mark over here where I was. Okay. Anodyne is the first and only entry for this drawing. So I got to remember that Anodyne was the first entry. Is it? Oh, it's time stamped, so I can see that you know nine millimeter Mike was at nine six thirty, and then Andine was at six thirty six. <clears throat> so I can see that. 
Uh, if you could pick one place to live if you were moving, which gun-friendly state would you choose? Oh, I don't know. It depends on how much money I got and where I can move to because if I'm super wealthy, I'll, I'll find me a nice place in Florida, you know, on the uh, west side of the peninsula and, you know, find me some nice area there, beach property, blah, blah, blah. If I got to live at the same level I live right now, hmm, I don't know where I'd move. Maybe I'd get me some land in, you know, like something like I could live way out in the middle of nowhere. Now with Starlink, you can do that. <clears throat> so I'd probably get me some land maybe in Montana or something. Uh, it had to be some place that they still had trees and grass, though, because I don't like just dirt and mountains. So I'd have to find some place. I'm OK with prairies, but I prefer trees and mountains. So I'd have to be somewhere trees and mountains, but out of the way where no one is going to bother me. <clears throat> so uh, I'd have to think about it, probably. They do not make GP144 Magnum. It's 44 Special. Which one was it? it was, oh, it's the 69 they make in 44 Magnum. The the in, or the or L-Frame from Smith & Wesson. <coughs> uh, but I know they make the Vaquero in 44 Magnum. E, revolvers. Double action. I'm pretty sure they make it in the Vaquero. Vaquero. <clears throat> Where are the Vaqueros? Mm. Well, I thought they made a Vaquero 44 Magnum. Maybe they don't make it anymore. Uh, wait, did I just skip it? Let's see here. Oh, I'm on double action. Let me get the single. Where's the Vaqueros? There we go. Ah, uh, 45 Colt, 45 Colt, 45 Colt, 45 Colt, 45 Colt, 45 Auto, 45 Colt, 37 Magnum. Yes, right here. 44 Remington Magnum. <clears throat> they make bird's head ones and a regular one. Those are both pretty. I'd like to have one of them. I think I had the 44 Magnum one, didn't I? Or was I, did I have the 357 Magnum bird heads one? Bird's head one. Do I still have it? I don't know if I still got it. I might still have the 357 Magnum one. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Uh, that tie-dye flag with Phil in the middle sounds great. Yeah, I think so. I saw a video of a mama eagle who retaliated against a cobra for eating her babies in the nest. The eagle tore the cobra apart. It was vicious. Well, I would too if it ate my babies. Eat my babies, I'll tear you up. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't realize that an eagle won't come back down from a poisonous snake. Eagles fight snakes to the bitter end and usually kill them. Or won't back down. No, they don't back down. They, And usually they're often don't get affected by the venoms of these things, like mongooses and stuff. They don't get affected by the snake venom. <clears throat> and eagles, it's hard to bite them because of the feathers. So it's hard to get it's almost like armor. Uh, have you been watching it resident watching Resident Alien on Netflix? No, I watched it when it was on that regular broadcast television, I think is when I watched it. I don't know if there's is it new seasons on Netflix? Because I haven't watched the new seasons if there's one on Netflix. They're so fast that the snakes can't bite them. It would be like fighting a poisonous snail. You'd probably kill it. <clears throat> Can't super chat anymore. Fucking YouTube always. Who do you think will win presidency at the moment? Right now, at the moment, I think if the election was held today, it would be Biden would win. <clears throat> Trump's doing really well with Republicans, but there's a good 20% of the Republicans that are saying I would never vote for him. So if they stuck to that, Biden would win. Uh, because there's a lot of Democrats that are like, oh, we're protesting. We're saying no contest or no, no, no preference for, you know, to make a stand against. But when it came to the election, they would vote for Biden. <clears throat> so uh, unless Trump finds some way to reach out from outside the, to outside the MAGA universe uh, and just the diehard Republicans that will vote Republican, no matter who it is, he's not going to win. 
And he pissed off a lot of Republicans with the, some of the stuff he did while he was in office. Which, if you're not p- pissing off both sides, I don't think you're doing your job. But <clears throat> if you're in charge and the left always likes what you're doing or the right always likes what you're doing, well, then you're not ever, then you're very seldom doing the right thing. You're always doing the toe in the party line. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, that was a, a hat spinner. What hat? He wants an all hail field black hat with a gray patch. Okay. Uh, boy, did they disable super chats for everybody? Because ain't no one super chatted since Anodyne. It's going to be very, this is just going to be Anodyne wins at the end of the chat. Uh, arguments for the Washington mag ban are being heard tomorrow in Cowlitz County. <clears throat> what the, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I uh, had a couple really old firearms that never had a serial number used to be able to buy Sears Montgomery Ward shotgun in 22 and never had serial numbers. Well, that, I don't, so don't get that in relation to that question. What I'm saying is you cannot buy a new replacement frame for my damaged polymer handgun because the frame has a serial number engraved in it. Well, you can. You can buy for just frames, Glocks, Smith & Wessons, whatever. You can buy just the frames, but it is it is the part that's serialized. So it doesn't have an FCU or anything that comes out of the frame. The frame itself is serialized. So you'll have to buy it like it's a gun. You'll have to go through an FFL. But you can find them on eBay. Even uh, you should be able to buy the Glock frames and stuff on eBay. <clears throat> so you can buy a replacement, but it's going to be just like it's like when you buy the lowers from uh, Palmetto. Those are serialized. So uh, yeah. Uh, DM Fowl says, you'll take this and you'll like it. Well, I ain't never not like $20, ever. You know, there's even shirts that say, you know, not gay, but $20 is $20. <clears throat> so that tells you most people like $20. We can't think of very many people who wouldn't. Now, some people might get offended if you gave them $20, like Elon Musk or something. Well, you give me $20 for fucking football. But <clears throat> I will always take $20. Uh, John Heasley said, thanks for the hat, Yankee. Well, I didn't give it to you. I kind of my heart. If I could have done so somebody else, I'd show somebody else because you buy guns that I don't have. And I don't like that when people do that. Makes me, makes me angry. Uh... Ghost Shadow says multiple super chats rejected by YouTube. Yeah, they. <clears throat> I think they know now that that's how we fund pets and vets. So they're trying to get rid of that option for me too. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I don't know why. Uh, well, I actually kind of know why. Uh, it's like my network said that the reason that when they spoke to YouTube, that the reason that they were letting me go was because YouTube was having problems with so many uh, complaints about me that they were spending too much time dealing with complaints about my channel. And that's because all the other fans of the big channels, you know, the people who suck their dick or suck cops dicks, uh, like to report me a lot. Hell, I lost so many subs today. Oh my God. I I lost a bunch yesterday too, but today I lost a lot of them from just one video. Uh, where's my analytics? Let me go to analytics here. I have lost because of a video I put up, an hour and something ago, I've already lost 20 subs because of that video. And uh, when I look at my comments that are held for review, let me see, hold on. Held for review comments. Um, people are very angry. Uh Trump did not pass the bump stock ban. The bump stock ban was done by the ATF. Trump had nothing to do with it. Unsub. You know, I got a lot of that. 
Uh, no, I hate to break it to you. The bump stock ban was done by Trump. It was done by executive order to the ATF to ban bump stocks. And that's what the case is about. So if you can't accept the fact that Trump did something you don't like, uh, fuck off. I'm not going to lie to you. I know other channels would have just left out the Trump part because they don't want to make anybody mad. But uh, that's uh, uh, just the way it is. <clears throat> uh, Mike Lewis says for Super Chat, make it a winner. Um, uh oh, Vicki Heasley's here. She's trying to win now. Just cause John won't give me the hat he wanted. Well, why wouldn't he give you the hat? When we make it in pink instead of black, and then he'll probably let you wear it. Or does he like pink too? I don't, I don't know. I could always switch it to pink and go, oh, it was an error. Do you like pink? <clears throat> Mike D says, you said red, but you see green better. Green has more trace back. No love for blue. I don't like I care for blue. I've heard a lot of good on the blue. Yeah, I don't care for blue. But blue exists too much in the environment. So I don't want. Uh, uh, but see, green, if you're outside and you're using a green laser, you're, if you're doing it against green bush or green grass, it doesn't show as much. You, you pick green up really well, but if it's against other greens that are being hit by sunlight, the red's going to be easier to see. Uh, like if I go out right, well, not now, it's getting dark now, but if I go out in the middle of the day when it's sunny, and it was sunny today, <clears throat> almost all of our snows melted. Uh, if I went out and shined a red and a green, I shined them on trees, the green would be very hard to pick up and it would disappear a lot with the movement of the tree leaves. The red would be much easier to pick up. So if you're in a, <clears throat> a, a wilder environment, Go with the red. <clears throat> Beard guy 67 donated, but didn't say nothing. He didn't say crap. Looking for fancy BBQ holster for nine millimeter Kimber Ultra Raptor. That's pretty. Uh, any ideas where I can get one? You know, I, uh, I mean, there's all kinds of them on YouTube or not YouTube, they, or not Facebook. Uh, uh, Amazon, <clears throat> a lot of them got the nice basket weave patterns and stuff. I think there's some Azula ones that have basket weave patterns and that's always pretty. But if you're wanting something fancier, uh, I mean, you're going to have to go custom, but if you want something right off the bat, let's see, what is, what size was that one? Uh, the ultra Raptor. That's the small. Let's see if we can see anything on, uh, Amazon. I'm going to pull this down here. Uh, Kimber Ultra Holster. Uh, oops, let me share the window. I didn't share the window. Uh, present, share, share screen, window. All right, let's see if I got anything over here that's pretty. <clears throat> These are all pretty basic. Uh, pretty basic, pretty basic. Uh, 1791, those are always nice. They're not fancy, but they're, but the, you can tell by looking at them, they're good quality and they're nice and thick. So those always look good when you're carrying with them. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything here. It's got like a basket weave or anything like that. Um, mm, uh, not yet. Uh, it's pretty uh, Kydex with designs and stuff on it, but I don't think you want Kydex. <clears throat> but yeah, 1791 is always a good way to go. Oh, there's a pretty one. Look at that one. Ostrich leather. See, that's where I'd start looking. I'd start go over and start looking on Amazon. Something you can get quick. Uh, that's delivered by March 20th, so that's pretty fast. Uh, yeah, so there are pretty ones over here. Uh, there's the regular Azulas. I wonder if I searched for basket weave, if it would. Uh, if I don't see any. No. I thought 
thought I've seen some for the basket weave pattern. But I, what I would do is I'd go over to YouTube, start looking over there. <clears throat> I see there's a 1791. They're very nice. They look nice. These aren't fancy. And if you know how to emboss leather, you can get something and emboss whatever you want on it. <clears throat> um, that was Kevin, by the way, to ask that. <clears throat> Jacoby, <clears throat> I want a hat too for my crazy little mind. Well, I don't think they have to fit to your mind. They have to fit to your skull. Because I got a big skull. That's why my eyes look like they're so close together. Because my skull is really wide right here. I don't know if you can tell. But it's wider than it should be here for the size of my head down here. I kind of like Howard, you know, uh, 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 Stearns, the leader. Uh, <clears throat> got a big head. Um... Ken V47 said, Trump said, take their guns and give them their rights later. He, well, give them due process later is what he said, basically. So same thing. Yes, people seem to forget that. I don't need no stinking hat. If I win, give to Mrs. Heasley. Uh, <clears throat> Dale Reedy says, give it to Mrs. Heasley. Damn it, I can't type. Well, you're old. I'm surprised you know how to use a keyboard. <clears throat> Well, you don't have someone doing it like your grandchild typing it in for you. Uh, how about Kramer leather holsters? I've never had one, but I mean, I don't know how long they take to get is the thing. And I don't know how long they want to wait. That's why I'm, I never have the patience. That's why I always go to Amazon because I don't have patience to wait. If I do have the patience to wait, I usually go to Lobo. They make good quality holsters. Uh, I don't know if they make very many fancy ones, though. But I bet they do. I'd have to check if they have any embossed leather ones. <clears throat> what is the most overrated classic Disney movie? Oof. <clears throat> I hate to say it, but I think it might be Fantasia. Because uh, Fantasia doesn't hold up all that well as an adult watching it. Uh, otherwise, I mean, I like most of the old ones. Uh, <clears throat> you know, some of them are, you know, not as great as they could be, but they have great characters. Fantasia had some great characters too, but there was no real character building. You know, like Chernobog was just Chernobog. The dancing Hyacinth was just Hyacinth, you know. But, you know, I like the characters, but I'm... Ugh. And you said classic, so... <sighs> I'm trying to think which ones. Um, I mean, I really like Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast and all those. And Dumbo's my favorite. <clears throat> Pinocchio was good. The Rescuers were good. I mean, Pinocchio might be a close second to Fantasia, but I'm going to go with Fantasia, I think. That was a hard question. Don't ask me hard questions. You're going to make my head hurt. We've only got two minutes left. Two minutes left. Uh, dude, Liberty claims full auto is way superior to revolvers and they suck. Who? I don't know who that is, but I don't think they've shot full auto very much or else they've never taken a combat course or anything like that. Other than those ones you take nowadays where they teach you spray and pray bullshit. Uh, is it legal to take a number two in a public park at night? You mean like in a toilet? If they have a toilet and they're open, if they're not open, it's probably not legal to be in there, period. <clears throat> and it's never legal to shit in public. Well, I mean, not going to say never. I'm sure there's some circumstances where it's legal, but not just out in the open and on private property or anything. Um... Uh, looks like we got a last super chat coming in here. It says, Glock Den says, the dude abides. The dude abides. 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 Uh, and we are just about out of time. We got like 30 seconds. Let me see if I can get any regular chats in in that 30 seconds. Um, oh, do I see any regular chats? Fantasia bored me to sleep as a child and it still bores me today. I, that's why I probably think it is probably one of the uh, uh, 
most overrated movies. Because they talk about it like it's the most wonderful thing ever. And it's okay. It's a good people. But I wouldn't call it the best movie ever. About three lasers on the gun. One of each cop. They also have laser that is red and green switch. Color based on situation. That's possible too. Uh, where am I at? I think that's it. I think we are out of time. Let's make sure. Who made their first? Uh, Beard guy made their first uh, ever super chat on stream. All right. <clears throat> Stop the chats. Don't anybody do any more super chats because I am going to count now <clears throat> the super chat. Uh, one and four. That makes five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We got 23. So I got to go over and generate a number between 1 and 23. Where'd my random number generator go? <laughs> Why did it disappear? I got to get another one here. Hold on. What did I say the number was? 23. Uh, random number generator. All right, between 1 and 23. I did say 23, right? Somebody reassured me that I said 23. 23, yep. <clears throat> All right, let's share the window. Winder. Uh, 1 and 23. Boom. 19. So I got to count down 19. Let me get back over here to anodyne. That's one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. It was Dale. <coughs> Dale Rickety. Dale Rickety. Oh, he said give it to Mrs. Heasley, didn't he? That's what it says in the chat. So, uh, Dale Rickety. Well, no, Vicki Heasley. I guess you need to let me know what you want on top of with a whole family one today. Well, don't say congratulations, Dale. Say congratulations, Vicky, because he gave it to Vicki Heasley, unless he's changed his mind. Do you want to renege? Uh, it's your hat, so if you want to renege, you can renege, but if not, I'll give it to her. She can let me know what she wants. Uh, doo -doo -doo. No, he's okay. He wants to give it to her. So, uh, oh, that don't sound right. Dale Rickety wants to give it to Vicky Heasley. No, Dale Rickety. He's too old to be a threat. Don't worry. <clears throat> um... Uh, all right, everybody, that's it for our chat today. I got to go make lasagna. I promised my son I'd make lasagna tonight. Uh, so uh, hopefully the meat is being browned as we speak. So I got to get in there and get uh, started on that. Uh, thanks to everybody who participated tonight. I'll get those hats sent out to the Heasley family uh, very soon. They come in here and dominate their family, pop, their family bullshit. Uh, but uh, why were people giving away hats to the Heasleys tonight? What, does everybody feel sorry for the Heasleys or something? Don't feel sorry for them. That bitch buys guns I don't got. Uh, so uh, thanks, everyone, for coming. I, uh, 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 I appreciate everything y'all do. I'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, remember, oh, wait, wait, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Monday, so it's members only tomorrow. But I'll see all the members tomorrow, and then I'll see everybody else on Tuesday. So remember... Always carry and stay safe until I see you again.